coach, are your players getting a fair shake, and is there anything else you can do about it? I'm not commenting on that, and, and uh, you, you know, you, you just trust the integrity of people when you say uh, we hope the football team is getting a fair shake. And our team is excited about this weekend, about this, about the game on Friday, with uh, all the things that, that come with it. And we've moved on past Saturday, and, and uh, we're excited to, to go out and play. I mean, we got a lot to play for, and and uh, we've moved on. How many plays did you send into the league office this week, and did, did, did you hear anything about that Ben Cotton with the Texas A&M guy? Did you hear anything? About no, we haven't had any feedback from the Big 12 office about the officiating or anything else. And we've we've it? moved on past there. It's time, you know, we got a short week. It's time to really get focused on Colorado. Well, if you were an, if you were an official and and you were in the strikes and you had a coach that was, was on on you like that, would you give that guy a break? Mm. Would you be, would Probably you be not. Like I said, Erica, I thought that uh, I thought when you make it, uh, you know, you know, you. When, I, when you when you get animated, you, you don't approach it the right way. Sometimes you do yourself a disservice, and I might have done that the other night. And like I said, I regret it. I'm sorry about it. There, there's a lot of discussion out there on that you embarrass the state and the program. How do you respond to that? You know, everybody has their opinion, and uh, you hope you, you hope they look at the heart of who you are and uh, and and what you've done. What you what you've built up over a certain amount of time, and you hope the people are in your corner. And uh, in the end, that's what you hope. And uh, I bust my butt each and every day for this program, and and uh, and for these kids, for the university. And uh, if I embarrassed anybody by what I did, I'm sorry. But that's as far as I can go. I mean, obviously, I didn't do it intentionally. Does the Big 12 always respond to your concerns when you send things in? Oh yeah, Big 12 response. I mean, they have, well, you know, there's a lot to do and there's a lot of football teams. I mean, it doesn't happen in the blink of an eye. Well, there was an incident with Carl on the field after the game. Uh, Carl and the camera, what do you know about that incident? Um, from my understanding, I mean, first of all, that was kind of crazy on that field after the game. I actually got almost got run over. Fortunately, I had uh, I got lit up pretty good, and by, by mistake. I mean, it was a, somebody just run onto the field. And fortunately, I had security. But there was a lot of things going on. I, I believe what you know, uh, they, you know, there was a player kind of in a group of people trying to get out of it, and Carl saw it and, and went over to try and pull a player into the locker room. I guess it happened pretty close, you know, on the way into the locker room, and and. Uh, as he did so, I, he, I apparently he went through the camera to get it, and if something happened to the camera, I know Carl regrets, you know, that that happened. But uh, that's what happened, and and, uh, and that was, you know, I talked to the player that was involved too. Did you have a chance to talk to Mr. Perlman or Coach Osborne about? I've that talked the to situation, and I've talked to both of them. Reading, uh, crew. About you know sixteen to two. I mean, even for a neutral fan, that seems a little bizarre. Yeah, I know. The, I know their. Uh, I know Chancellor Perlman and, and uh, Coach Osborne. Or uh, I believe they. I know coaches. You know they've they've communicated with the league office, and, and that happens pretty regularly about many different things. And uh, I know that you know their their focus is on making you know. Representing our program the right way, Co you know, both Coach Osborne and Chancellor Perlman, and doing uh, doing what's best for our program, and and uh, I'm sure they've had if they felt like the need to, they've those conversations have happened. With the Big 12 North still on the line this weekend, how do you prevent everything from being a distraction moving forward? Uh, like what would that be? Everything going on the last couple of days. Our, uh, uh, it's not a distraction with our football team, and uh, like I said. You know, you hope that everything is over and behind you, and, and the, the football team, our team's ready to play. They're excited. They uh, they were very disappointed the other night, and uh, they were mad. And uh, in the end, 
they, we talked about it right after the game. All you can control now is what you can control, and that's what, what happens on Friday, and it comes down to preparation, and, and you know us, it's, what the, it's about the process. It starts today. If we put our work in during the week, we'll be ready to play our best football come Friday, and that's where our focus is right now. What's wrong with the offense? Well, we didn't execute very well the other night, um, and uh, you know, consistently, and uh, you know, we left some plays out on the field. We left some situations uh, uh, out on the field. We um, we need to play better and, and, and execute better, you know, more consistently, and uh, that's what we're working on. That's what needs to happen on Friday. But do you, do you make any changes over the next? I mean. Given the performances made in the last two games, you may not have Taylor either to do. You probably can't make those 80 yard runs. But what do you do to put a spark in the offense that brings back some of the big plays you had over the years? You just tweak things, you play with confidence, and you play fast. And uh, um, I think that'll happen. I, I, like, I like our plan that we have right now that uh, going forward for this week. And, and uh, as I said, it's about attitude, it's about doing things the right way and playing with fundamentals and technique. And, and uh, our guys will be ready to play come Friday. Coach, those penalties, how did you address those with, with your team? Well, we really haven't met as a team yet. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it and. and uh, you know, some of it was addressed and you know, already, and uh, you know, some of them can definitely get fixed, and uh, and we need to fix that aspect of it. You know, yeah, um, some of them were boneheaded penalties, some of them were a lack of focus or lack of concentration, and you, you can't use crowd noise or anything else to as an excuse. You got to go in and, and execute your football, and, and that means doing things uh, the right way consistently. Will Martinez be in practice today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is there any reason that he wouldn't be? Not that I know of. Coach Taylor's injury prevents him from playing on Friday. Will Cody Green be the starter? Is that not determined yet? Uh, yeah, it, that, that I would expect Cody <coughs> Green to be the starter. Is that really available to play? We think so. I mean, he's getting better each day. He's kind of day to day right now, but you know, he's come a long way in the last week or so. And um, but, you know, we obviously haven't done anything with him over the last couple of days. So. Was he able to play on Saturday if you needed him? What's that? Was Zach available on Saturday? If yes, he was available Saturday. How impressed are you with what Colorado has been able to do? I think they've done a nice job of. Uh, I mean, I give. Uh, I give their coaching staff and their kids a lot of credit. They've, uh, you know, it's a tough time when, when, they, when there's a coaching change at the point it was, and, and uh, I think they've showed character and, and uh, they've done a nice job of, uh, of rallying the troops. They're playing, you know, they 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 they've played well the last couple of weeks. Coach, you put any credence in this talk that the Big Twelve was out to get Nebraska? Uh, you know. No, I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I never really even thought about that. You know, you. I. You know. I don't even. I can't even speculate on something like that. That's pretty far out there. Is it possible, though, that with uh, Eric Martin you know, already being suspended for a game earlier in the season and Courtney's hitting against Missouri, that maybe the big public officiated officials have an extra eye on those players? Yeah, uh, there, there's a possibility of that. Time for about one or two more for Coach before I ask the big big Can you talk about some of these seniors that are going to be graduating? You know, it's a great senior class we have. and. Uh, a lot of kids, you know. I mean, all these kids mean mean a lot to me. But they, this senior class, we you know we've been through a lot. They were here when I got here, and, and a lot of them, each almost each and every guy on the that's going to be playing his last game at home this weekend has brought a lot to the program. They've done a lot. They've uh, made a big impact around here, and uh, um, it'll be tough to see them go. You know, and I know it'll be highly emotional for them to play in this stadium for the last time in front of these fans, and and. Uh, you know, our job as a football team, you know, is to to honor those guys by playing our best football and try and send them out a winner. Well, you always talk about the next game's the most important game. Well, this one is really for the championship. Can you talk about 
what's on the line this week? Well, it's obvious what's on the line. It's, uh, you know, if we win, we, we keep playing. It's, it's to win the Big 12 North, and, and uh, I think our guys fully understand that. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, every week, you know, when you, when you play in a conference like this, and every week it's big. And, you know, but we, you know because of what's at stake, you, you don't play any different. You don't approach it any differently. You just, um, you know, you hope you play the same way all the time. And it's the next step, and it's an important step, and you got to go out and earn it. And that's, that's what's laying ahead of us. That's a challenge that's laying ahead of our football team right now.